Today we're quickly going to show you how to set up the DDNS on your HIT camera or MVR so that you can access them remotely using a web browser or app on your mobile device. For this purpose we're going to be using the camera to actually show you how to set it up but the menu in your MVR is actually a very similar layout. So we're going to go into the main menu and we're going to navigate to the network section where we can click on the TCP IP tab at the top and this is where we're going to set it a static IP address. It's important that we set a DNS server which we can use 8.8.8.8 .8 which is Google's primary and .4.4 at the end is Google's secondary. We need to have at least one of them entered into the programming. If you click on the port tab it will tell you what ports are actually set up for this camera at the moment. You'll see there all them ports need opening up on your router and set in to come and see your camera or your MVR at the address here. I have a few tutorials already on here to show you how to set that up so have a quick look and see if you're unsure. The next thing we need to do is create a DDS and what we're going to do with this one is this is going to be the first part of your web address and this is going to be the last part so I'm just going to change this quickly and call it YouTube 1 and we're going to click on save and what that will do over the next 10 seconds or so is it will create a name for you so if we went to a website now and we typed in www.hic-online.com and did forward slash YouTube 1 it will bring in the login page of your camera so let's try that I'm already on the hiconline.com website so let's just try that quickly we'll put in YouTube 1 and press enter it will redirect you and it will take you to your login page of your camera now that is basically all the details that we need to enter into there um, to make your app work this is where now on your app once you put in this name on your app this is where it wouldn't matter if you're on your network or whether you're remote you'll be able to access your cameras and that is how simple it can be if you're unsure about how to set up your ports here um, and you're struggling a little bit if your router actually supports UPnP which is universal plug and play if we have this turned on here and in your router uh, if it supports it then these ports it will automatically set them up for you so it's worth a try and see if they actually work hope this was of use to you thanks for watching Bye.